Looking at an OPM approach then, our first and foremost uh, tool is ripping. That is the most successful, the most economical, and in many cases the most easiest to do if you've got the equipment. Um, habitat removal is more to do with uh, above ground rabbits, whether it be hollow logs, whether it be rushes, whether it be gauze, blackberry, whatever it might be, box one, etc. Um, if that can be removed, that exposes the warrens, exposes the openings, and that's a great help. Baby, uh, we've got 1080, um, we've got pin dome. 1080, of course, is my preferred option because it is a lot easier, it's a lot less work. However, pin dome is preferred if it's in the township areas um, or you can't contain your dogs. Uh, fumigation using a smoker unit, um, it's manual labour, however, it is effective. It doesn't control and get rid of the warren. So if you are going to fumigate, you still look to try and see some, some warren ripping if you can. The biological measures, I'm not sure we're going to have much more help in the new Khaleesi virus style product, but we will have the continuation of Vixo, and um, we will see the original um, K5 turn up and, and still control some rabbits. Vixo has been quite good to us in recent years because it's been wet. Shooting, we'll talk about contract shooting, recreational shooting, what I like to call dedicated shooting. The days of a the a low cost operation these days to go shooting is pretty much far and gone. We've all gone into uh, thermal, night vision, uh, electronic calls, all this sort of stuff. It's quite amazing the cost and how efficient it is. Exclusion fencing, uh, we had a bit to do with that at Mungo National Park. It's expensive and hard to maintain. Ferreting, there's still a lot of ferreting goes on in semi urban areas, but mainly with long netting. Um, if you're going to rip, you really need to get down 600 minimum, prefer to get to 700 or 800. So just think for the equipment you're going to use, try and get it as deep as you can and cross rip it. We also do a lot of work with blackberry, gauze, um, we've got a range of machinery as you can see, and um, that's one of our biggest problems is trying to get rid of rabbits where there's extensive habitat. And I encourage you to get slashes and mulches out and get rid of as much of that cover as you can where it's not desirable. We do a lot of baiting ourselves. We've been, um, it's interesting now that every time I mention Pindone, I always ask who has, who has had great success and who's had no success, and the no success seems to win. It needs to be three separate feeds between four to five days or six days apart. It's a thing that impacts the liver. It, it destroys the vitamin K production. So you, you feed it on day one on Monday. It builds up in that liver till Friday and starts to peter off. If you don't feed it again straight away, it drops back to where it was. So you start again. So you build it up for that five days, build it up for another five days, another five days. Day 15 they die. What's the benefit in that? Well, if your dog takes a rabbit from any one of those feeds, there's zero impact. The dog has to eat multiple numbers of rabbits from each feed for its own body weight to get to the point where it's going to be impacted. So it's a very safe product as far as dogs are concerned. Fumigation. So fumigation, um, as Lisa said, you've got a couple of our smokers in the area. It's quite an efficient way of doing the job. Um, you need to be licensed. It's an S7 product. So keep that in mind if you're going to go into fumigation. It's a simple process. Um, you place the smoker in the front hole, vacuum around it, and then as the smoke starts to move away, you follow that through and you put two tablets through a piece of poly pipe down each hole, backfill it until there's no more smoke, and you pressurise the warren, you pull the smoker out and treat that hole, and that's the finish of it. And uh, you check that in about a fortnight to make sure it hasn't been open from the outside. Most times rabbits dig their way back in because they weren't there when you treat. They were somewhere else doing something. And they come back and they open the, the burrow up again. Wrapping up rabbits for a minute. Um, with the, the project we've got with Lisa is quite exciting. Um, what we'll offer you is to work alongside you, with you, or for you. So if you've got staff or yourself that you want to get involved uh, to make the project get further, let's work <coughs> together and I'll do the thinking, you do the shoveling. That's the best way I can think of it. <laughs> but there's, there's opportunities for us to do fumigation, um, look at ripping. We can certainly do a lot more baiting. We're quite good at baiting. So let's get together when we get time. And there's a sheet that I produced last night that uh, asks you to, to, to quantify 
what, how big the problem is. Is it, you know, light, medium or severe? What have you done in the past? How many acres and so forth impacted by it? Let's get an idea from all of you just what we need to do and prioritise 